What's up YTPC? This is Pipe Stash coming back at you here. I know it's been a while. Chris, uh, the rambling dilettante, was getting on my case, man. Gotta go uh, make a video here. Um, and uh, I told him I was like thinking of some ideas and I really don't uh, have many ideas for videos right now. So um, I just thought I'd uh, give you a little update on what's going on with me and uh, hopefully um, down in the comments you guys can leave some uh, ideas of what you are interested in seeing next. Um, I did grow my stash back, a lot of you were asking. I kind of wanted to give a backstory on uh, what the name means. Um, it's uh, like two different meanings, like obviously mustache and then the other one is um, like a stash of pipes. So it's kind of a play, I tried to do like kind of a play on words for it. Um, today I'm actually uh, smoking in uh, my Orlick Prince Regent um, pipe. It's just a um, Canadian billiard. Um, smoking some velvet. It's been a while since I've had some of this stuff and uh, it's pretty good. Um, this is the only size I could get at the place where I um, buy some of the old uh, codger type blends um, downtown and uh, it's kind of a big thing of it so if any of you guys want any I could probably uh, trade you some of this um, for maybe a lot of Kia blend because I'm kind of a lot head so um, I was smoking on that but today I think I'm gonna or this evening I think I'm gonna have a little bit of the HH uh, -H, um, Latakia flake in my Boswell's uh, nose warmer this thing does really well with Englishes and so I'm gonna have a little bit of that here while I'm talking to you If you've never had this blend before, it's pretty good. Not as strong as um, I anticipated uh, when I first reviewed it, um, but I really like it after I've had a couple bowls of it. Um, I kind of, there's a smaller tin, so I'm kind of keeping it um, for whenever I, you know, for more special, not special occasions, that's not the right word, but like, uh, whenever I feel like having something different, but a lot of Kia blend, I'll smoke a little bit of this because I don't want to, I don't, I kind of want to savor it because I had, I don't want to have to wait for another order of it, and it's uh, kind of hard to find, so. I got it from Boswell's, that's usually where I buy all of my tobacco from, but um, lately some of these codger blends, they don't have um, a smaller tin of it, um, and this is the smallest I could find uh, in my area, even though it's pretty expensive for that size. I think this one is 12 ounces, um, but yeah, I was hoping to get more of just a pouch of it, just because it's been a while since I've had it. and. Uh, didn't really have an idea if I liked it or not. Um, work's been going good. Um, kind of getting the hang of my job a little bit better. Um, just been kind of busy with life lately. Uh, I don't know if I told you guys that I hit a deer with my car a while back and I had to have that fixed. Luckily my insurance covered that um, fully and uh, I had to, uh, it's actually technically totaled because of the hail damage, but I didn't want them to take my car, so I took that off of there and had them do the, just the deer damage, because it was only like a hundred bucks to have it fixed fully. So, still have my car, so that's good news. Um, I got engaged 
uh, to my better half um, about five or six weeks ago now. Uh, so yeah, um, that's new. And I'm probably going to get married in about a year depending on our uh, situation here with COVID. But uh, just haven't had a lot of time lately to make videos and uh, it takes a little bit for me to upload them with my um, phone was crap and then my internet was crap so that was kind of a bad combination wasn't able to upload anything for a little bit um, so I just kind of gave up for a while and just kind of living life not really doing my, many uh, not, not really doing much on my channel um, but yeah, if you guys have any video ideas for uh, pipe related things, because that's really all I do videos for. Sometimes I'll do a, a life update ramble like I'm doing right now. But um, just leave it down in the comment and let me know uh, what you guys want to see. If there's a certain blend um, that I haven't reviewed yet, um, you can feel free to uh, send me samples of stuff you want to want me want my opinion on or if you have different pipe related um tips or tricks or something like that that you guys want to see um just leave me a uh either send it to my email or um just leave a comment i usually check all my comments and try to reply back when i can uh, but yeah just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update here um Another idea I had for a video was uh, I was working, also working on recreating the blend that my fiance's um, G-Paw uh, smoked when he smoked a pipe, like back in the 20s. Um, and he uh, he used to smoke um, mixture 79 and half and half, like a one-to-one -one ratio of that and it took a while for me to actually get a hold of some of the mixture 79 a lot of people don't like that blend um, it has a kind of a licorice smell to it it's kind of strong smell but it doesn't really taste as strong as it smells I actually happen to like half and half by itself so I thought I would just recreate that and I've kind of been letting it meld in a, um, a jar recently over the past couple of months uh, it's probably been about a month now that it's been jarred up and um, been getting it out and trying to smoke it in different pipes. So I might try to do a video on that. Um, I might try to do a video on some Latakia blends that I really like. Uh, you guys all know that I love Northwoods and that's my favorite blend of all time. So if you uh, you know ever want to buy me some of that, uh, let me know. Anyway, um, I usually keep about a pound on hand or at least I think I have about a third of a pound right now um, on hand at all times just because that's like my go-to blend when I you know when I want to pipe I usually smoke a lot of Kia blends but lately I've been smoking a lot of Codger blends and my uh, my lineup for pipes is kind of um, turned to some of the more um, ones that I found at like different antique shops and just kind of like a codger type old style pipes from like you know 20s 30s 40s 50s era um, but yeah uh, just want to give you guys an update kind of give you an idea of what some of the videos I'm thinking of doing and um, also kind of get some information from you guys down in the comments about um, what I uh, different ideas or whatever for me to do um, just because I haven't had a lot of ideas lately on videos to do but anyway um, I'll talk to you guys later and um, if you haven't already subscribed to the rambling dilettante Chris uh, please do so he's a great guy I enjoyed his live stream the other night um, Nick uh, the Polish Piper Sorry I missed your live stream, man. I know you were having some issues with your phone or whatever and your um, connection. But uh, we all tried to bomb your um, your live stream, even though we were all on Chris's. Uh, we were all, you know, heading over there to say hello. But 
uh, I know it didn't work out, but hopefully you'll get a live stream up here soon and I'll be able to join you. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Nick the Polish Piper, he's a pretty cool um, person to subscribe to as well. I like a lot of his videos are really funny and uh, witty and um, he does uh, a lot of cool reviews and different things like that, uh, pipe reviews and tobacco reviews and um, always cracks open a beer uh, at some point in the video. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.